Radiant Germaner has returned! He has returned, not a use return. That's what I think every return is a move in this first generation. But I think that it's kind of useless in the first generation. Anyways, hey guys, it's me, X Mr. Cheese X, and welcome back to Blower of Pokemon Red. And here we are in the final gem of the game. Guardian Gem, Pokemon Gem, Leader. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa! 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 Who? What? Oh! I probably misread that. Yo, Chef and Megan, I even I don't know the Viridian leader's identity. It's right there on the flag. I mean, for PC, just look at it. It's freaking Giovanni. It's that. It's a bit of the Italian master. Oh! This will be the toughest of all the gym leaders. I heard that the trainers here like ground type Pokemon. Some of them will actually like poison type as well. Anyways, there's only one required battle in this entire gym. And apparently, there's an item there. I want to get that item! I want to get that item! Item! Must! Get! Okay, we can't get that item. We have to move around. Anyway, there's only two required trainers in this entire gym. I might as well show off both and then I'll cut out the rest of the battles. Alright? Here's trainer number one. The truly talented win with style. Style makes me fabulous! He's gonna be a cool trainer who's gonna use a Rhyhorn, which is a ground and rock type Pokemon. Ground types uh, should be read to flying type moves, but if you take a look, flying type moves are weak to gra rock type moves. He's gonna use the next attack, which is probably gonna be a little bit scary since Arrow is at a type disadvantage. At least it's actually using a normal type move instead, so. The trainers are gonna be a bit tough, I mean, for peace sakes, they're already at level 43. Okay, use two, um, attacks. Well, X attacks, I mean. So he's gonna be a bit more powerful. Come on. Oh, critical hit. That was actually pretty good. Looks like he used both of his X attacks. I think he only had two. Yeah, he probably only had two. Thank you for that critical hit. I prob It would be hilarious. It would be terrible. Hilarious for you viewers, but terrible for me if my bite didn't even get it if it was just a regular hit instead of a critical hit. I lost my grip, though. Your grip on your whip that you use to beat your Pokemon. A leader will scold me. A revive! I would really, really recommend ha grabbing that item. I don't think that is in Fire Red and Leaf Green. This is like the only instance in the game where a revive can be found in a gym. Alright, here's another trainer that you need to fight. I am the Karate King! Your fate rests with me! Okay, hello, Koga! I saw you Kung Fu and Karate. Isn't Karate like a form of Kung Fu? Ha! You're using fighting type Pokemon and flying type Pokemon as advantage over that. Hooray for type advantage! Didn't have that in the last battle, but I do have it in this battle. Macha! Macha! At least I think that's how their voices are. I don't know, it's been a long time since I played the 
not play, watch the anime, so I don't know how exactly I'll be putting on sound. I know Arrow is like, Aah! I'm sorry, I'm a terrible voice actor. Even though that I kind of like doing a little bit of voice acting with all these trainers here. You and your bird cannot defeat me. I just did. those two trainers, all you nearly need to do is head up here. Uh... Yeah, you're going to need to fight him from the front, or else you wouldn't be able to get around here. It's pretty stupid. Anyways, go around here and... <gasps> That sign was right! It is Giovanni! Which we're actually going to take on after I fight all these other trainers, alright? Actually... Go right up to Giovanni, and I'm just going to cut it right here, alright? See you in... To you, about one second. To me, probably like five minutes. Alright, before I fight Giovanni, I just want you to show you the order of the team. Polly goes first, because Polly is a water type Pokemon and has a good advantage over him. Lax can go out second because Lax is a tank. Arrow for the fly advantage, and then you got Pikasaur and V just laying about there. Let's see. Actually, let's see what moves Pika can have. Giovanni actually has some Pokemon that are not ground type Pokemon. They are actually poison type Pokemon. So they can be hit by moves like Thunder Shock, Thunder, and Thunder Wave. And also Quick Attack, of course, although Quick Attack wouldn't do too much. Then Star because of the Grass Advantage and V, finally. Anyways, let's talk to that Italian Mafia boss. Oh, this is my hideout. I plan to resurrect Team Rocket here. But you can have caught me again. Woohoo! So we did it. This time, I am not to hold them back. Once more, you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. You are not the greatest trainer. Possibly the Elite Four is more powerful than you. They are more powerful than you. And I'm more powerful than you. And I will stop you. I have stopped you with your slot machine plans. I have stopped you with your self goal plans of taking over the company and using their technology to capture Pokemon to make yourself even more powerful, which you can sell at slot machines will make even more money. You... You disgust me. Here it is! The final gym leader against... Giovanni! He's going to start off with a Rhyhorn. So let's set out Polly. Let's see, uh, Polly should probably start off with a Surf, simply because that's our most powerful water type Pokemon. Pokemon, no move. Takes it out in one hit. Very nice. And he's gonna use a Dugtrio. This Dugtrio is actually pretty funny in Pokemon Yellow, because this Dugtrio in Pokemon Yellow would have... Let's see, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Actually, let's switch to like 2, arrow. Actually, last, I mean. Because, in Pokemon Yellow, this structure to oh, all of its moves are ground type moves. So, if you, you can go out, capture a Pidgey, and then fight the Stugtrio with Pidgey, and you can actually beat him with just a level 2 Pidgey. It's going to take a long time, but sure enough, you can take out Giovanni with a Pidgey, or at least his Dugtrio. Uh, let's start off with a Headbutt. See how well a Headbutt can do. How can you slash when you don't even have claws? 
Actually, they probably do have claws underground. Critical hit! Hook out your Dark Trio. Gonna send out his Nido Queen. In which case, I'm gonna send out my Arrow. See how well Arrow can do. I'm gonna try using Fly. Okay, I'm gonna use a Body Slam, but you miss because I'm flying. Oh, Arrows doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Fly. Frost type moves would be doing very well, but I decided, you know what? Oh, did you really just paralyze me? Please, please let fly. Please let fly hit. Did you? Oh, you fully paralyzed these. I mean, please do not say thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And grew to level 43. Nice. Gonna use a Needle King. At this point, I'm gonna use my Pika. Hopefully, I can take um, the Needle King out with a Thunder. Can I? Oh, I didn't. It the. Don't tell me it's also part ground type Pokemon. If that's the case, then sure, I'll finish you off with my sword. He also used a guard's bag that's going to increase his accuracy. Razor Leaf. You know how much I really loved the Razor Leaf when I was using more sword more often. Because it has a high critical hit ratio and it's not very effective because it's also a poison type uh vine whip? Please, Vine Whip, do some damage. Ah, uh, of course, it didn't do a critical hit. These your moves aren't effective to me, to me because I'm also part poison type. Okay, Pika grew to level 45. Okay, last Pokemon, Rhydon. His final Pokemon, I believe that Rhydon was actually the very first Pokemon that was created. I mean, it was the first Pokemon that was added to the game, so most likely it is the first Pokemon. Yes! Yes, it would be! This is the very first Pokemon that came into the game. And... Actually, this is one of the few designs in which I don't really... In which I actually kind of like his design in this game. Looks so smooth, but... It looks smooth, so it's not a rocky texture, but... Hey, graphics aren't anything unless you're looking at all these starters. If you're looking at Charizard and Venusaur's back sprites, that's terrible. And Blastoise's front sprite, that's... That's just plain out hilarious, as I mentioned in the previous part. Level 46! Yay! And we finally defeated Giovanni! Ah, that was a truly intense fight! You have the one! As the boom, here is the Earth Badge! Our final badge of the game. The Earth Badge makes Pokemon of any level of day. It is evidence of your mastery as a Pokemon trainer. With it, you can enter the Pokemon League. It is my gift for your Pokemon League challenge. Oh, I'm getting gifts from the leader of the frickin' Mafia. Eh, yeah, scary. Oh, and also get TN27, which is Fisher. It will take out Pokemon with just one hit. Of course, it only has 5 PP, so... Yes, I really just say PP. Only has five power points, so I do not recommend using Fisher. On top of that, for the most part, it doesn't even it misses quite a lot, but it will take out the Pokemon in just one turn. I made it when I ran in the gym here not too long ago. Now you can go ahead and leave this gym. I do not know if he'll disappear if he leaves this gym, but if you talk to him right here. Have it lost. I cannot face my underlings. Do 
game market is finished forever. <laughs> I will dedicate my life to the study of the Pokemon. Um, one, make YouTube. I mean, take a look at what happened to all the other scientists. Land at least again or someday. Farewell. And actually, that is the last time you'll ever see him in the entire series. So, no, I don't believe we will ever see each other again. But that's what he does, he study, dedicates his life to studying Pokemon. Blow me away, Giovanni was a gem leader here? Yeah, it said so right on the plaque. Of course, my name is on it now. The Verdian gym leader has returned, yeah, well, he actually disappeared. Anyways, I probably would end the part off right here, but there's actually one more thing that I want to do. So I'm just gonna heal off my Pokemon, and I'll meet you there. Our badges, they're so pretty, and so shiny, so precious. My birthday present. Actually, The Hobbit was a good movie, however, I started reading the book and I'm actually enjoying the book a little bit, bit more than the movie. In fact, I kind of feel like the movie is a little bit goofy compared to the book. But anyways, now that we have 8 badges, we can go to the Pokemon League. But do you remember that optional battle that I actually had trouble with at the beginning of this Let's Play? You know, against Green? Guess what? It's now a retry-fire battle and you get to fight him a second time if... Unless you didn't fight him at the beginning in which this is the first time you fight him here. What? When? What a surprise to see you here! Are you mocking me? I could easily take on Giovanni. So you're going to do the Pokemon League? You collected all the badges too? That's cool. Then I'll whip you red as a warm up for the Pokemon League. If I'm an insult, you little brat, I'm gonna warm up on you. Come on. Alright, let's do two boss battles in one video. One last battle against Green. He's gonna start off with a Pidgeot. However, oh, it's just the evolved form of his Pidgeotto, but it's not really that great. Hey, remember when you lowered my accuracy countless times with Quick Attack? Not Quick Attack, Sand Attack? Guess what? Ah, you keep on using Whirlwind, but it's not going to ever affect me. And you increase your speed, like, even though that you were faster than me anyways. Whirlwind! What it does is that in the later generations it switches your Pokemon out, however there's a bit of a glitch in this game in which it just doesn't work because it registers it as running away from the battle. Ah, oh, you actually hit me that time. Not gonna matter because I'm still lowering your accuracy. Actually, let's do a little tail wick. I was actually gonna do quick attack, but let's lower your defense a little bit because you are of a higher level. And because you're faster as well. I might as well use quick attack too. I swear, I'm probably going to die to this. But you use agility and all that and whirlwind and it's not gonna do you a whole lot and I'm just gonna keep on. Okay, that was a quick okay. Nothing happened because your speed as is already at the maximum. Really? You almost die and you don't even use an item, you just... See, this is what I mean, this is a pretty bad Pidgeot because... As you can see, it had pretty good defense right there, but... Where its move set is terrible. Let me use a Rhyhorn, but 
his new Pokemon, but I'm gonna go right ahead and try to lower his defense a little bit, because being a Rock-type Pokemon, he's gonna have high defense. Oh, are we gonna do, be doing it back and forth? I'm gonna keep on lowering your defense. Horn Drill, that's a powerful move right there. I'm gonna lower your defense all the way down to zero. Or the lowest it can go. Come on! You're probably gonna defeat me with this move. Well, not defeat me, but at least kill my Eevee. Not kill Faint. Alright! Let's see how well I can do with a water gun. Ha! Took you out! You're not as strong as you think you are, Green! Execute! You remember that. Let's try a Flying-type Pokémon and see what all that can do. It's a Psychic and Grass-type Pokémon, so it does have a type advantage over Arrow, but also Taro has a bunch of Flying-type moves, so if I use Fly, well, maybe I'll get off lucky. Oh god, it took on sunlight. That means that it's going to be using Solar Beam, which is really just Hyper Beam, except it's a grass type move. Well, not Hyper Beam, but. In the Hyper Beam, you're helpless in the next move, and. Solar Beam, you're helpless in the first move. It basically takes in sunlight and blasts it back out. Gonna use a Gyarados, alright, let's try Pika. Gyarados being a flying and water type Pokemon, originally a dragon type Pokemon, but being a flying and water type Pokemon... Pika should have the advantage right here. At least my Thunder hit, so that should be very, very good for Pika. Taking you out pretty easily. Alakazam, his most powerful Pokemon. Let's see how well Lax does. Cause if you saw how well Lax has done back in the Saffron Gen, I want to see how well he'll do in this one. Let's try Heart Headbart. Ah, uh, Psybeam, Psybeam is a powerful psychic type move. And yeah, it's definitely Oh, that was a critical hit, okay. It's already at level 50, so. Let's just hope it, it's gonna take out Lax, I just know it. Oh, oh, because I didn't get a critical hit, ha. Ah. Alright, Starter versus Starter. It's Charizard versus my Venusaur. Already at level 53, it is going to be a pain in a butt. Let's try to start off with a Leech Seed. Flamethrower is his most powerful Fire-type move. It did a lot. At this point, I'd say let's go right backwards, I guess. Uh, let's switch to Lax, see how well Lax can do. At least it will waste a little bit of HP and PP. Uh, let's use Thundershock. Do a little bit of damage. Rage, Rage is an annoying move, but... At least there's Leech Seed. If I defeat it with a Leech Seed again, it will be hilarious. Rage is building, attack Rose, gonna use Rage, so it's gonna be a little bit more powerful. But I just got. I'm just going to mock you. Let's see how well Thundershock can do. If I defeat you with Pika, that's gonna be hilarious. His attack is going to raise each time that it. It's going to rise each time that it uses Rage successfully. Let's try Thunder Wave just to mock you.
uh, another thunder wave, even though I'm just trying to waste a turn this time. Uh, actually, Sor, if you're fully paralyzed, it, I'm going to take you out with a razor leaf. Actually, I'm gonna take you out with a razor leaf, anyways. Ha! Ah, Sor is going to get it, all the experience. Never mind. Oh no! Oh! Oh my gosh! Leech Seed actually won! Leech Seed worked out at the end! Leech Seed is my best move against this Charizard! Oh my gosh! Yes! What? I was just careless! Stop making excuses, Green. That loses me up. Huh? I'm ready for a Pokemon League. Lad, you need more practice. But hey! You know that? I'm out here. Smell ya. Did you really just come all the way here just to battle me? Or did you... Or did the Elite Four wipe the floor with you? And you just come back crying only to see me and I said, Uh, uh, I haven't faced the Pokemon League yet. Just a crybaby. You're, you're only trying to kiss up to your pedophile grandfather. And I still stand by my belief that Professor Rogue is technically a child molester. I mean, for peace sakes, he references balls, he said, let me check you. I mean, well, he's checking your Pokédex, but you know what I mean. You can make a lot of inappropriate jokes out of Professor Oak. Anyways, after healing up all my Pokemon... Well, everybody got in a little bit of experience from this fight. Anyways, next time... We're gonna go right ahead to the Pokemon League. We're gonna do it! We're gonna use all our badges to finally get through to the Pokemon League and... I'll fight the Elite Four. Let's see what else we can do up there. Try not to fall off that ledge. Pokemon League, French Gate. You cannot go... You cannot pass this guard unless you have the Boulder Badge. But I guess next time we're gonna do the... What I like to call the Epic Walk. I'll see you guys next time when we do that Epic Walk. See you guys then.